Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Tuesday interview at Mortgage Coach. My name is Dave Savage, the CEO of Mortgage Coach, and this is always one of my favorite days of the week, one of the favorite things I do at Mortgage Coach, where I interview amazing people, you know, to make you more successful as a mortgage professional, to help you close more loans and make more money, and to help you do that in a way that's more valuable for families and realtors. So uh, I want to remind everybody this call is recorded. We've got the most amazing YouTube channel in the mortgage space. I hear every day from a loan officer that learns something to make them more successful, to make them more valuable from our YouTube channel. I want to remind everybody that we recently created a playlist for new loan officers. So if you know a new loan officer, it's got eight videos that I wish I would have had when I started the mortgage business. If my, one of my kids was getting in the business, I would say this is where you start. Listen to these eight videos. So check that out. Uh, today I have a, I don't know, a, an amazing guy. You know, I, I met Derek. How, it's been what? Is it three years that we've known each other? Or is it two probably years? Probably about so that. Far? Yeah, it's probably about that. Probably yeah. About why don't, by the way, why don't, why don't you start sharing your screen? Uh, I was I was introduced to Derek from a few customers, a few mortgage coach leaders that are very successful. Um, this is a guy who is one of the top loan officers in the country. His best share in the business, I think, was $111 million. Right. Uh, prior to being in the mortgage business, he was a tennis coach, and he's coached some of the best tennis players in history. Uh, by the way, Derek, who, who did you coach back in the day? So my player was a guy named Michael Russell. He reached 60 in the world. But we did get to play against Federer. We did get to play against Nadal. We did get to play against Djokovic. And so a lot of the, the stuff that we teach our clients now, I pulled from that. You know, I learned, I got to watch the top, top players in history, as you said. These are, you know, Nadal and Federer are the best players ever played the game. So I got to watch them. Right. I got to see what separates them from what my player was. And, and I'll tell you this, it was between the ears. Um, it was fascinating yeah, to learn that right. stuff. Right. Well, to, today Derek is taking what he learned as a tennis coach and player what he's learned as a top peak performer as a mortgage professional. And I think the thing I also love about you is how you mastermind. You know, you're very humble in the fact that you can learn from anyone. You bring everything from a struggling loan officer to a core loan officer to a top performer. You bring them together, and they all learn each from each other. So I'm excited to have you on this call, Derek. Uh, I really we, appreciate we all, that, man. Yeah, no, no problem, man. Uh, we also have Shira McKenzie. Shira, if you don't mind sharing your screen or sharing your, your video and jumping on here. Uh, Shira, how are you doing, by the way? Good to see awesome. you. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, so, so Shira was a top loan officer at Fairway. She was a tremendous ambassador of Mortgage Coach. And I, I always look at it like this, like anybody who's done over 500 total cost analysis, they're a mentor. They can really help other loan officers learn how to use Mortgage Coach. But when you, you, know, you go past 500 and you get into the 1,000 club, you just become this incredible ambassador. And so grateful, Cheryl, for all the value that you've created for the Mortgage Coach community and all the loan officers that you inspired at Fairway during your tenure there. So you're, you're now coaching with Derek too, right? Absolutely. I'm about two years in. And I, I, you know, I'm so appreciative, Dave, of – everything that you've created, it was Mortgage Coach and Edge that really propelled my career. When I started using video back in the day, it allowed me to connect with consumers and business partners on a different level, and I felt like I stepped into a whole new energy, and I was able to just show up in a different way. So, um, you know, there's, there's no bigger fan of, of this no. community than Kira McKenzie, and I love, I just love being able to be a part of a community that is fostering collaboration in an industry that is so known for competition, right? And yeah, as you no, no, no doubt. Got brand new and seasoned veterans sharing, collaborating, strategizing, brainstorming. Uh, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. I love this industry. Yeah, no, we, we love having you on the team. So just to set the, the conversation for today, this is the competition for Mortgage Coach. Fee worksheet, every time I bring someone in and I interview them, whether it's a top producer or an outside speaker, I'm doing it because I want to help Mortgage Coach members go from price to advice, to where they're delivering value. And I, 
I do believe we're in a world where technology is not changing the future. It has changed today, and the loan officer of today and the loan officer of tomorrow needs to know how to do both, how to connect at a human level and how to use social and digital to deliver value, you know, so that you're, you're really helping families at a whole deeper level way. So, so you guys have seen these pictures. I show them all the time as I kick off the call what a mortgage coach is. One thing I want to kick off the call with, and I want to make sure I shine a light on it for everybody um, before we get into Derek, is I want to remind everybody that we do training every single day of the week. So whether that's on Mondays where we're, you know, doing intro to mortgage coach, whether it's Tuesdays, whether I'm interviewing someone amazing, whether it's Wednesday where we're teaching you how to use your mobile device better, Thursdays, and then, of course, every Friday we're doing the Productivity Mastermind. So I want to make sure I remind everybody of that. Also, I want to draw everybody into a blog post or a LinkedIn post that I did over the weekend. Uh, I posted this on Saturday. And, and what it came from is Josh Metal, who's a great mortgage coach ambassador. I've interviewed him a number of times. He created a video for his consumers. You know, it, he really designed it so that he would help referral partners better understand his total cost analysis experience, and it would help him get more referrals, and it would help him build his unique value. So one, I want to make sure everybody reads this two-minute post. It's two minutes to read it. And then make sure you watch Josh's five-minute video. And then at the end of the, today's call, I want to drive everybody to create your own what is the total cost analysis by your name. Uh, I also want to draw attention to the fact that Kelly Zitlow also did one. Kelly's has not been edited yet, so it's raw, but it's also a great example. So these are going to be two homework assignments for everybody on this call. By the end of the day, I've got about 12, 10 to 12 minutes of homework. So I'll put links to that in the chat. So in chat, I'll put links. And if you're watching this on YouTube, they'll be down below. There'll be links to these homework assignments down below. So um, with that said, Shira or Derek, do you have any comments on that before I hand off the screen and we go through your keynote? Any, any thoughts? Yeah, I would just say that I using video, guys, is so incredibly valuable. How we communicate today is just completely different than two years ago, 10 years ago. Right, and so people respond to you. They respond to video. They're able to connect with you in a way unlike email, newsletters, the written word. So this is an opportunity to really set yourself apart. And I think if you're creating a video that's showing how you're creating a different experience with your clients, if you're able to show your referral partners, hey, this is, this is the business that I'm building. This is the experience that I'm, th that I'm creating for my clients. It's going to set you apart. So I think this is a great piece. I was saying to Dave, I think that it would be a great piece to use as a follow-up to a conversation with a prospective buyer. You could include it in an email signature. Um, I think it's really, really powerful. Dave, I would love to say that I would love to say that when I look at this and I look at what you guys do and I look at your community, you really serve from a place from your heart. And if you look at this and you look at Mortgage Coach as a way to serve your clients better, that's the right mindset when you look at it. Because as you said, the LE doesn't serve them. It's the same thing as, you know, if you go to a doctor and the doctor just hands you your lab results and says, you know what, go interpret them for yourselves. You know, that's what you guys do here. And that's really what I like to see. Um, I think the other thing that you guys have that's so impressive to me is the professionalism. And when you show that you've taken the time and that you care like this, this is all about developing relationships because I'm going to present some really cool stuff, social media stuff, some video stuff. But at the end of the day, guys, it's always about relationships. The way we communicate changes, but it's always about relationships. And if you can serve your clients in a very relevant way, you're going to do really well in this business. No, no doubt. Well, everyone, I will put links below in the recording, links in chat for go to webinar. I want to make this as interactive as you are all willing to make it. So if you do have questions for Derek along the way, post those in question. If you have takeaways, if you get a, a quote that you're just like, mm, this is my big takeaway today, put that in questions and I'll call it out. So uh, 
Derek, I am going to pull down my, my video so you really showcase there. I'm also going to stop sharing my screen, and I'm going to hand off the screen to you. Uh, I know you're going to do a bit of a keynote, so just to set expectations for everyone, Derek has prepared a presentation. Uh, it's going to go for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we will have about 20 minutes of conversation and dialogue around it. So again, if you have questions or comments, put those in go to webinar, and Derek, we can see your slides, so uh, rock it out, my friend. Okay, great. Guys, I really appreciate your time. Your time is so valuable. I was a top producing LO, it seems like one minute ago. So I want to take this time right now to set an agreement with you. The first agreement that I want to have is I'm going to show you the best performing posts that we have had in 2017, the best results we've gotten from a post. I'm going to give this to you for free at the end of this presentation. And the second agreement that I ask of you is that is that you listen, I'm gonna present numbers, I'm gonna be talking about results, I'm gonna say you know, verifiable specific results, and if you have any questions about that, be okay being cynical, be okay saying, hey, Derek, where did you get that number from? Because I'll tell you one of my pet peeves when I would listen to presentations, if people would say these big numbers and all that stuff, my mind immediately went to, yeah, but can you prove that? So that's how I was always watching presentations in my day. So I'd love to have that agreement. If you have any of those, uh, there's nothing off limits for me about this presentation. You can ask anything you want. So sit back and relax. This is gonna be 20 minutes. I'm gonna go very quickly, again, respecting your time. So let's start right now. So hey there, my name is Derek Cheney, and I believe that we are entering the golden era for origination. It is an amazing and exciting time to be in the mortgage business. The business first and foremost, as we spoke about, is a relationship business. It has never been easier though, guys, to create, strengthen, and deepen relationships as it is right now. It's literally breathtaking how simple it is to have conversations with high quality people. In the past year, our clients increased their income by an average of $123,000, and today I will reveal the exact step-by-step -step blueprint that they use to create this extraordinary success. I want to cut right to the chase and start giving you some actionable items right now that you can work on. Let me start by saying who this is for. This is for mortgage professionals, loan officers, producing managers, non-producing managers, sales managers, and really anybody in a mortgage company that's responsible for bringing loans in the door. So let me ask you this, guys. Does this ever sound like you? Has you ever had this thought? You ever get that feeling in the pit of your stomach? When you're watching football on Sunday afternoon and you see those commercials for Quicken Loans and you wonder how you are going to compete with them, do you secretly know that the cold calls you're making, hoping to get referral partners to use you, are not working, but you don't know what else to do, so you just keep making those calls? Do you feel like you're just spinning your wheels, working too hard? You want to be a great producer, but you just don't know exactly what to do? And are you starting to break down? when you're trying to do loans and service your existing clones and generate leads at the same exact time. Most importantly, do you know that you are way better than you are right now? Listen guys, I have some really, really cool information for you. None of that is the problem. Those are only symptoms of the problem. The real problem is that you haven't made the five shifts yet to become the top producer in this new economy that we're in. Once you make those five shifts, you're going to have the peace that comes with knowing that you will have a rock solid business for years to come. When you do business, you're gonna be doing business with qualified borrowers that are already sold on the value that you deliver. You're gonna be able to authentically connect with the people you most want to do business with, and you're gonna do all of this while tapping back into that joy you had when you first started the mortgage business. So, the one thing, and just the one thing I need you to know is there are five simple shifts to becoming a top producer in 2018 in your local market while working less and getting higher quality referral partners in the future. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to make those shifts here today. Now, you might be wondering who I am, and that was a really cool introduction, Dave, I appreciate it. As he said, my best year was 111 million, it was in 2010, before that I was a professional tennis coach, got to coach against Federer and Nadal. And really what I, what I saw, and this is, this is my why, is I wanted, I would go to training programs. I, would, I was in all the coaching programs too, guys. And I just saw that the world was changing, that's it. And we would sit back, um, you know, some of the people in, in my peer group and we'd say, hey, listen, 
who's going to train the LOs at our company? Who's going to help them through these huge technological shifts? Um, and honestly, we, <laughs> we kind of complain about it. And then they kind of said, Derek, it's you. You go do it. You've got the skill set and the coaching side. So go do it. So I stopped originating in 2013. I took time off and I really start, started studying internet marketing. Guys, I didn't create Facebook, I didn't create video, I didn't create any of the technology. All I did was learn it. And I put myself in the top internet masterminds all over the country. And what I discovered is that the mortgage business was still in the dark ages. Um, you and I can have a conversation about why we're still in the dark ages. I think it's because we got hit so hard from a compliance standpoint that there's a lot of fear around it. So we were late to the game. Um, other industries had already made the shifts into using technology to create strength and a deep in relationships. In fact, that was the norm in these other industries when I was in these masterminds. Um, but as I said, our industry had resisted it. Uh, my mission now, though, guys, is to create a world where mortgage professionals wake up every single morning inspired to go to work, passionately serve their clients when they're there, and then they return home at the end of the day fulfilled by the work that you do. We have an amazing community of clients that are breaking through barriers every single day and are experiencing levels of success that are just astonishing. So let's get right to it. The first shift that you have to make is you have to operate with total and complete integrity. Now, you can say to me right now, Derek, you've got to be kidding me. That's your big uh, aha in the first shift. Here's the deal. Operating with total and complete integrity is something completely different now because of social media, because people do all this research on us beforehand, because it's so easy to find out who's good, who's not good. And what I mean now when I talk about integrity is the strategy of preeminence. And preeminence means is you commit to being the best in your local market, that you're an expert and have everything you do reflect that. All your profiles, all your emails, all your social media, all your review sites, all your videos. I think that that's why I have so much respect for the mortgage coach community because that's really, when I, when I speak with Dave, I'm always blown away by that's his mission too. He's out here to say, hey, listen, let's be preeminent. Here's the deal, is that when you take personal responsibility for every one of your clients and you never let them go into a loan product that you wouldn't put your own family in, that is when you succeed. The way that I do this now in my business, in the coaching business, is when I take on a client, I expect a 100% success rate with every single client that we have. The way you do it as a loan officer is you, you expect that every single loan that you do they are a raving fan by the end of that process. There's no better marketing, guys. So before I got into the social media part, I just want to make sure that you guys get that part. Here's the truth. Your business operates like a mirror. It is constantly reflecting back to you who you are as a person. If you look at your clients as a commission check or only a sales goal, they are going to look at you as an interest rate. Okay? I, I cannot emphasize this enough. When you start serving and you help these people make the best decision for their lives, it's astonishing what happens in your business. That's never gonna change no matter what happens in technology. So let me recap really quickly. Hey, hey, hey Derek. Yes. Derek. Yeah, I do wanna jump in before you recap, because I think this is such an important piece here. Again, I, I have been interviewing top loan officers, you know, forever. And, and this is one of those things where it really differentiates the best from the rest. And this, this term of perfect loan process gets thrown out a lot, like, I have a perfect loan process. Well, you know, and again, not to overplay the mortgage for total cost analysis, but if you're delivering a fee worksheet versus a total cost analysis, that, it's not a perfect loan process unless every family is getting the best experience you can deliver. And I, I just use total cost analysis while well, it's an important part of the perfect loan process. There are other things within a perfect loan process. And, and I, I see so often that, you know, the, the best of the best, they are delivering that perfect loan process each and every time. But loan officers that are struggling, loan officers that aren't at their best, they, you know, they're, they're missing it. So I just ask everybody, really reflect on that. Like what Derek just said, we all know it. You've heard it before. But are you doing it? Are you actually living it? And so I, I think it's a big concept. It's a reminder to everybody, but I think it's a, it's a great push coming out of this call. Think of a place in your perfect loan process where you're not executing consistently. Write it down right now and fix it tomorrow. Fix it with your team. Get your team involved. 
Anyways, keep it going, Darren. Sorry to jump in. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> no problem, man. Um, because it's the truth, guys. It, and if somebody tells you that it's not the truth, they're not shooting you straight. You can get the most leads. I'm going to get into that right now. You can get a lot of leads, but if you're not taking care and you're not being preeminent with each and every client, uh, you're not going to get that that asset for you down the road. And it's and I want that. That's my hope and prayer for each and every one of you guys. So let me recap really quickly. The first thing you have to do is to operate with total and complete integrity which as we spoke about means being preeminent and understanding that your business operates like a mirror, constantly reflecting back to you, who you are as a person and who you are as a business. The second shift, and guys, I know that these are the two most, the ones that we hear the most on, but I, I cannot overemphasize this one enough. The second shift that you have to make is to be consistent to a system that works today, and this is the key, and more importantly, will work in the future. The flexibility in this business is our greatest strength, but it's also our greatest weakness. The majority of loan officers operate in a very reactive way. This is basically their day. They get up, they check email, and then they go to bed. Their whole day is reacting, and that wears on us. When you take the beginning of each day and do the most important things first, like lead generation and taking care of yourself and taking care of your clients, it's amazing what happens. So when you know exactly what to do, Monday through Thursday, then all you have to do is just wake up and execute. When anyone hears the word system, it tends to make people cringe. They're like, dude, don't talk to me about a system. But the acronym I use for system is save yourself time, energy, and money. Guys, this is what we all want more of, and the right systems can give us this. The two biggest problems that I see in training in our industry, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but this is how I felt is we have people, the top producers, that say, hey, listen, this is how I did it, so that's how you should do it too. And it's no disrespect to that person. But, the, but what's happened is, is we've gone through the greatest disruption in the history of our planet with how we do business, so that just won't work in the future. The other thing that I see at some of these big events and you know, these company trainings is that they give you a thousand different ways to grow your business, and you get excited, and you unfortunately come home and you don't do any of them, you have pages and pages of notes and you don't implement any of them, and honestly this just triples the frustration um, because you don't know what ones to implement. What we do for our clients and what I would encourage all of you guys to do is you get very clear, what am I doing on Monday, what am I doing on Tuesday, what am I doing on Wednesday, what am I doing on Thursday. What happens is when you start doing a system over and over again is you get very efficient at it and very good at it, and that's where we start getting our time back. So. The next one might cause a little controversy, and, and if it does, this is one of those ones, write it down. I'd love to have a debate about it. Um, I'm going to say it in a very uh, definitive way, and, and this is, is my opinion. Is the third shift to make in order to be a top producer with a balanced life is to stop making cold calls to the people that you most want to do business with. Making cold calls in 2017 is like trying to fill your swimming pool with a squirt gun. I'm not saying it won't work, but it is the hardest method possible. It is much easier to get a fire hose and fill it up quickly, and I'll show you how in just a minute. I took a survey, and I want you guys to do this along with me, okay? Put yourselves into the position of a realtor. Um, be empathetic. What does a realtor go through? Um, try to answer these questions. Let me tell you what they are. These are realtors. I surveyed 50 realtors that all did over $10 million dollars of business last year. So these are top producing realtors. These are not average realtors. These are not part-time realtors. These are full-time professional realtors, okay? And, that, and that's a big distinction in this survey because you could give this survey just to realtors in general and you won't get these numbers. But use this survey if you want to talk to top producers and uh, I think you'll see that it makes a lot of sense. So the first question I ask them is on average, how many cold calls do you get from a loan officer per week. The reason I ask this question is you know you only get one chance to make a first impression. So what are they thinking when they get a cold call from a loan officer? You know, just think like how do you feel when you get a cold call from a title rep? How do you feel when you get a cold call from an insurance agent? Their, their first answer, and there's three answers right here that they gave a lot of, and so the first one was how am I going to end this call? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said the wrong one. Five. Um, so the the answer was that they, on average, said that they got five a week. That's one a day. 
Okay, so the next question that we ask them is, what is the first impression that you get when a, a loan officer cold calls you? What is the first impression? How quickly can I end this call? That was the first one. The second one was, this was interesting to me, was man, they must be hurting for business. Guys, that, is, that, one, that was the one that caught me. Like, wow, that's, you know what? I think like that too. When somebody's cold calling, I'm going, that means they're not taking care of their customers. That means they're not using social media. That means they're not getting referral business. If they're just doing front end cold calling business, they must be hurting for business. They're probably not a good loan officer. That's their thought in their mind. And then the third one was, I don't like you. And as we, as we know, if, if you get one chance to make a first impression and they don't like you, that's not a good first impression. So the next question that I asked was, would you ever do business with a loan officer that cold calls you? 50 out of 50, not kidding, these are top producers, said no. The next question I asked them was, are you open? To, listen to every word in this. This, is, this one was so huge for me. This was an absolute eye-opener for me too. Are you open though to using another loan officer other than the one that you're currently using, even if you have a relationship with them and even if they're paying for your marketing or they're co-marketing with you on Zillow right now? 43 out of 50 said yes. Guys, that's what I'm saying. These realtors in America, the best ones are open for you. They want to do business with great loan officers. I'm not kidding. There's literally an unquenchable demand for great loan officers right now. But they're absolutely close to the methodologies that a lot of people are talking about with cold calls and, uh, and, and these old world stuff. Again, these people aren't bad for saying it. That's what worked in 1984. It just doesn't work now. Um, so if you, make, you can't make cold calls anymore, what do you do? So you have to use a secret weapon. I used to tell, this joke actually used to work. This is, <laughs> it's funny because this joke actually used to work three years ago when I started doing this presentation, is I'd say, um, hey Dave, uh, what does every single millennial look like now? And then I'd show this picture, and you know, and it, I mean, it's not a great joke, but it got some laughs. This is why I keep it in this presentation now, is here's the truth, that's what every person looks like now. Okay, it's not the millennials anymore, guys. That's what my mom looks like. She's 75 years old. Um, so, you know, again, the secret weapon in 2017 and beyond from here on out is to become a leader, and that's a key word, become a leader in social selling. Now you can ask me, Derek, what does that mean, social selling? So let me start by saying that there's an absolute unprecedented generational shift right now that's happening right now at this moment. At this moment. It's transforming the way that we communicate. That's it, that's all that's going on. In our past, the method of communications has always changed. Humans are the same though. It's the method that we communicate, guys. That's it, that's all that's changing. So we have to, in order to adapt and to evolve, is we have to learn how to be a social selling leader online. I define social selling as the practice of using technology to create, strengthen, and deepen relationships. That is my definition. I made it up three years ago and I see different definitions of social selling. I don't know who Webster's going to choose and say this is the official definition of social selling. Um, but you know that's what I used when I started out when there wasn't other people saying it yet. So um, that, that is my definition of it. But I'll tell you this, it is astonishing to watch when people start using it. Social media is hey, the great... Hey, yes, sir. Hey, I want to jump in one more time. So I want to push a survey question to everyone. Uh, how often do you use social media for selling? So, you know, given Derek's definition right now, is the answer never, you know, don't do it. Monthly, you know, once a month I make a post or I do something intentional, weekly and daily. Like literally every day you're, you're using social. And, in the mortgage space, I think it's primarily LinkedIn and Facebook. Of course, Derek, I'll save that for a question later on. Uh, but guys, by the way, only 49% of you have voted, and uh, you're at Mortgage Coach now. And this is a mastermind. In order to get value, you've got to give value. And so I, I do require participation. 
please, I want to get at least 70% of you voting before we move off this question, and we're 50 seconds into it, so give me some votes. So Derek, here's the answer. Over 70% of the people on the call, we have hundreds of people on the call, this is the answer. 12% are doing it daily, 43% weekly, 25% monthly, and only 20% are just not using social from a selling perspective. So uh, there you have it. That's cool, man. Um, so here, let me put this back here. Um, okay, so this is what I'll say, guys. Social media is the greatest relationship tool. Okay, that, that's a key distinction. Greatest relationship tool that has ever been created. So it's also, guys, not about just posting. It's using it as a relationship tool as well. Once you crack the code, and that's the system we teach to our clients, the deals flow quickly. It has been absolutely amazing to watch because here's the truth too. It's kind of like public speaking. And I'm sure that you guys have felt that. When you get out there and you do a post, you feel exposed, you feel fear. And if it bombs, you know, if, if we're posting something, you know, our political opinions or that, that can actually hurt us. So I, I want to make this distinction to you, Dave, and to your audience too, that it's not a function of posting. It's a, punct it's a function of posting the stuff that will work. And, and just general posting, just being on social media can be detrimental if you're not doing the right stuff. So let me see if I'm sorry. As I said, when you get this right, you'll establish yourself as the authority in your local market. You'll demonstrate preeminence because only the best people do it the right way. And you'll deliver value. The best referral partners will now want to do business with you. This is absolute great news for loan officers, guys, because here's the truth. You, th this, the, the community that Dave has right now, you guys are the best of the best in the loan officers. And you can see that even from that poll, you might have 50% of the best of the best that are even posting on there. Right, Dave? The rest of the, the loan officer community, they're not doing this. This is still ground floor. I would say that you have between 1% and 3% of the 300,000 licensed loan officers that are doing it and using it correctly. So th this is absolutely ground floor for realtors and financial planners, guys. When, when they see that you're doing it the right way, that's how you get these meetings. So when you say, well, dude, if I can't cold call anymore, what am I supposed to do? Well, you start being out there in a relevant way, in a, in a way that's valuable. They start literally, not kidding, they start reaching out to you. So Here's the biggest thing that I hear from our clients. It's the most exciting for me is that they're starting to have fun again. And that's what I encourage for you guys, because here's the other truth is some of those old world methodologies, the cold call, you know, you might be able to get a lot of discipline and get yourself to do it, but I've been yet to find somebody that goes, I actually really truly enjoyed that. So the fifth shift, what do you do? How, okay, Derek, you said a lot of things right now. What do you do? The fifth shift is to close the gap as quickly as humanly possible. As I said, there's a window right now where if you make the switch from the old world tactics and jump into the new world, you have the opportunity of a lifetime in front of you. I'm gonna show you some examples so that I'm not just some dude up here saying a bunch of <laughs> promises. As I said, realtors and financial planners are so attracted to folks that are marketing themselves in a way that it's relevant in 2017. The quickest way that I found to do it in my own life, as I spoke about in the beginning, is to get into a mastermind with other like-minded professionals that are implementing the same thing. If your company has one, jump on it. If you're an entrepreneur, create one. Get it hammered out. In our coaching program, we create many masterminds within the program so that collaboration can happen and people can share things with each other in real time. Because here's the truth. Ready for this, guys? Technology changes at the speed of light. So... The master skill moving forward is not, I learned it once and I do it and I'm successful. The master skill from here on out is, I am going to be committed to lifelong learning because technology changes. I don't know if you guys know Moore's Law, but Moore's Law states that the, the, um, the microprocessor is changing, it's doubling its capacity every year and it's on an exponential growth curve right now. That's unbelievable. So how do you deal with that so you don't get overwhelmed? This is why we create everything in masterminds because we're always getting real-time data and saying, hey, you know what? As Dave just said, right now, Facebook, LinkedIn, yes, that's a great place to monetize at this moment. What I will tell you is we're starting to get a lot of data on Instagram right now, and if you do Instagram right, 
there is Instagram's like the wild west. And so there's a huge opportunity on Instagram too. So, but that just came up recently that right. And then how do you do it? And then when they change their algorithm, what do you have to do? That's why masterminds are so important guys from here on out. So let me recap everything that we spoke about is none of that matters. If you don't have preeminence and you don't have integrity, if you're not taking care of your clients, if you're always just in front end lead generation mode, man, you guys are going to burn yourselves out. That's the truth. You know, there's nothing better than a referral in there and taking care of your network. And, you know, I think that's, you know, why I'm on this call and why I've always had such great respect for Dave and his community because it's been, you know, something that he's made as, as a, as his, his thing. And it's so huge. So if you don't have integrity, it's not going to work. Here's the other truth, guys. This is absolutely, this is the part that I learned from sports. So when you say what's applicable that you learn from sports, every top athlete, the best ones in the world, you know what they are. You know, the difference between them and the other people is they're just committed to a system. They show up, they do the same things every day. They work on their games. They, 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 they just do that and they don't get attached to a result. They get attached to the process. I cannot overemphasize that enough. And I'm always talking to my clients about that. They get attached to the process without the attachment to the result. That is how you create these huge businesses, guys. The third one, as I say, I say stop making cold calls. That's true. And then also from the perspective of, you know, these old world methodologies, people are saying, hey, you know what? That, that person's dated. Um, they, this is how the young people communicate, and that's how it's going to communicate in the future. The fourth shift, as I spoke about, was to become a social selling leader. And the fifth shift, and this is my hope and prayer for you guys, is close the gap as quickly as humanly possible. When we know this from anything, if you can get on the right side of the compounding, if you can get on the right side of this, your business will take off. Now, let me sh put this up here really quickly. This is my link. We have opened up nine spots. If there's anybody right now that says, hey, you know what? I want to have a conversation around coaching. We do not sell. We are not salespeople. We, this is what we do. We say, we get you very clear on where you are in your business. We get you clear on where you want to go in your business, which is hard for a lot of people. And then we say, okay, there's the gap. Are we somebody that can help close your gap? That's our quote unquote sales goal. Uh, Dave and I spoke right now. We have cleared out the end of this week for you guys. We have nine spots throughout the rest of the week. I'm going to leave this link up for the next 30 minutes. Um, this just went out real quick. Oh, there you go. Did you take that over, Dave? I don't feel like I'm doing that. But um, So that's our schedule right there, DerekCheney.com backslash schedule. And I'm going to leave this up to the end of this call. So as I spoke about, we have nine calls and it's going to be available for the next 30 minutes. So if you want to have a conversation around it, uh, just jump on there and we'll, we'll just have a conversation. Now, the biggest question, we're going to open this up for questions. The biggest question that I get is why? Why? Derek, if you were so successful and you really did 111 million, why in God's green universe would you um, start and create a coaching program. And so I want to show you that right now. Okay, now I got the, let me see, Dave. Dave, I don't have, it looks like I don't, something happened where I don't have the screen right now. By the way, I see your screen, Derek. You do see so, your screen. You, yeah, you, your, your screen is up. And by the way, everybody, I put uh, this link in the GoToWebinar control panel. A few of you asked for the homework assignments. I posted those. And I have a link to Derek's um, screen. And I even posted a quote that I, I thought really aligned well with what Derek said. It's one of my favorite quotes, that the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but it will be those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. So you, you said it a different way, but I, I think it's such a great point. And uh, go ahead, and whatever you were showing on your screen, Derek, we see uh, uh, looks like a loan officer post, although we can only see yeah. part of it. So I'm going to 
pull it up right now. Um, so guys, the biggest question I get is, hey, listen, you know, if you were so successful, why do you do this? Let me read you. I'm going to read you four um, little things. These are just posts in, in our Facebook group. And this was not too long ago. You can see 13 minutes ago from when I copied it. Happy Monday. When I started this journey about seven months ago, this is a brand new loan officer guy, these first two. I said that in 12 months, I'd be on pace to serving 120 families. Well, I'm in seven months in, and I'm excited to share. I have 13 files in submission right now. My videos have gone almost 12,000 views, and I continue to get amazing feedback from listing agents about my weekly updates. Thanks so much for an awesome system, Derek and Shira. You make this, cra this crazy business fun and fresh. So excited to be building something great. To you new folks, and all that need a reminder, trust this stuff works and have fun. Um, this one is from Christy. In no way am I trying to brag, but oh my God, I am loving all the attention my Facebook page is getting me. Seriously, four new applications, not likes, four new applications in two days from Facebook alone without ads, just my post getting out there. Thank you, Derek. I honestly goodness would not be getting this response without your coaching and guidance. If we aren't friends yet, please friend me. This is also showing how our community and our, and our mastermind, everybody helps each other. Take a peek at my recent posts. They have, been, they have blown my message box up. Now, I cannot wait to get to the next live event for the next steps. Um, so here's another one right now. Now, these are from, and you know both of these guys, Dave. This is from Aaron Crossley. I just had to add up my production for next month for reporting, and I have $6 million scheduled to close in November. Aaron's only back in the business for 18 months. Um, that's 14 units with an average loan amount of 429000 One of my primary goals was to increase my average loan amount. Check. I actually had no idea that we had much in that in contract. A massive change from 12 months ago. Guys, this is the one, too, when I talk about fun. Um, this came in literally today. Dave, you know Eric Zanatelli. Um, he, uh, he's somebody that's probably the most coachable fellow I've ever met in my life, and he was doing some other systems, and he was doing them, and they just weren't working. And he came to us, and he was down to, this is a, you know, he's been in the business almost 20 years, and he was down to only one to two loans a month. And uh, so this was his message today. Hey, gang, I'm so excited that I just referred, ready for this, that I just referred my 21st deal to a realtor this year from this system. It is so fun to give referrals. It makes getting them so much easier. I am closing 14 units this month and will finish the year with a 60% increase in business compared to last year. Life is fun. Ready for this? Now, you know, uh, we all said, hey, you know, congratulations. This is our community right here. This is the end, guys. And this is, this is honestly was one of my big whys is I was like, here's the truth. And Dave, I'm, I'm speaking to you and I'm speaking to everybody is, guys, we, by having these old school methodologies of just trying to get deals from realtors and then we get upset with them when they want marketing dollars from us, that's human nature. That's if we put ourselves into a second position and beg and, and cold calling and all this stuff, it's only natural for them to go, okay, cool. Well, you clearly want something from me. What are you going to give me? That's normal. That's human behavior. The easiest thing for them to do is say, wow, can you pay half my Zillow? That's what my broker tells me what to do, right? Here's the truth. When you start marketing yourself and you start getting deals, this is what realtors want the most. They don't want leads. They actually don't want your marketing dollars. They want clients. That's what they want. So look at this at the end. Trust me, this system works. Once you flip the script on realtors by sending them deals, deals, not leads, it seriously becomes silly fun. So as I promised in the beginning too, I don't want to just stand up here and just give you, you know, results, 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 and then you go, okay, what is it? So my gift for you is I'm going to give you the one that the top performing post that, that we did. Um, it actually was only a couple weeks ago. And let me show you the results of this post so you can know it. Guys, this is not stealing from us. You can take this post. You can do it word for word. I encourage you to put this, to, to try this, put it on LinkedIn, put it in Facebook groups. Um, you know, we teach our, our clients how to, to really blow this up more, which that's, you know, something we teach our clients. But you'll get deals from this post. Um, let me show you the results really quick. Uh, one of our clients, Corey, so you can see this was two weeks ago, September 6th. Social media post this week is awesome. I post to all my for sale rent groups. Uh, personal business page, we have three messages with three requests already. Um, I did my social media post, received a refinance within three minutes. Talk about immediate results. 30 minutes after the Thursday post, I've had five shares, four inquiries, and two completed loan apps. And and then the best one we had um, was Aaron's. He said, no joke, posted at about 7 a.m. this morning or so, 12 leads, 
or personal message to me. Three booked appointments. The system works. As Eric, Eric always says, this is fun. Um, so guys, let me give you the post. I'm going to put this up. You can take a picture of it. You can screencast it. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. It is yours to, to see right here. So this, 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 this is it right here. I'm going to take a screenshot of it. Yeah. So I add it to my slides. If you could just give us a little bit of backstory on it and explain it so we all have it. And then within five minutes, let's get to some Q&A because we got a lot of questions coming in. Sure. Um, so guys, one of the things I learned in the, the two years I took off when I was studying is copywriting. And the, the trick in copywriting is to get into the consumer's head. What's the conversation that they're having in their head? That's the trick. That's where you use empathy. That's how you win in social. Social is not a place to post about you. Okay. We all know those people when you're posting about you and, and, and all that, you're not going to get engagement. You're not going to get likes when you can enter into the conversation that somebody is having in their head, or at least help them out with the conversation that they're having in their head. That's when you win. Okay. And that's how I write everything for our clients. So I say right in the beginning, it's a call to call an attention. Will you please do me a quick favor? Now everybody's paying attention. So you have to have something in there that they're paying attention first line. And then the second line has to set the hook. Okay. Uh, I'm teaching you my methodology right now. Mortgage rates just dropped a lot. Now everybody's really paying attention. And now the third one is where you, you talk from a character and integrity when you speak about preeminence that I was talking about. Then you say, it is super important to me that all my friends and family are always in the best mortgage for their needs. And this is where I think that there's a lot of synergy, Dave, when you talk about mortgage coach with the stuff that we do. And then I just say this, can you see if any of the below applies to you? If you have a mortgage rate in the high fours, please reach out. If, you have a, if you're in a position to switch to a 15, please reach out. If you have other consumer debt, car payments, credit card, student loans, if you have a desire to make home improvements and need more money, if you have an arm, please reach out. If you're paying PMI, please reach out. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. So this is, we gave them a lot of things that you can start having conversations because here's the thing too, and Dave, I'm talking to you too in here too, is we need more looks. We need more looks. And, and, and when you talk about the mortgage coach and delivering that kind of value, we have to know who we're get you know the more that we give out the more business we're going to have so how do you get more looks is one of the key components to to this business so that's mine man you can go to any questions or you can take this however you want to all right so i'm going to jump on uh camera derek if you could do the same so we yep, have me, uh, this post up we've got let's minute, see we've got about uh, i see Okay, we've got about 13 minutes. Wait, I'll give you one minute. I just, I, just, I just saw that we totally booked those nine spots, Dave, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to 12, guys. So if you're not getting booked, <laughs> I'm, I'm opening this yeah. up right now. So I'm going to go to 12, guys, okay? So I just saw that we, that we booked those nine. So okay. I can, I'll be right back. I can hear. I'm just going to open up three spots. Okay. Well, then I will, I will do some of my follow-up, and then we'll get you back for questions. So a couple things, mortgage coach community, uh, I was going to close on this thought, but I'm going to share it right now, is we want to help you convert more of the families that call you for a loan. That's what mortgage coach does. But the video that Josh created that we talked about at the very beginning of the call, this is not only a great opportunity for you to train your referral partners how to refer you, because remember, you're not just quoting rates you're delivering a total cost analysis. You're delivering something of true, tangible value. So let's use that as a way to generate leads. So there, you know, if you read the LinkedIn post, which again, I put that as a homework assignment, not only do we have Josh's video, we have Kelly Zittler's video. Uh, hers is two minutes where she's explaining to the referral partner what a total cost analysis is and she's saying, call me if you want one. So between now and next week, I'm going to do a bit of a contest. If you share it on Facebook, if you share it in, um, I think you could share it in the comments of this original post. I've already received three other videos like this, but I'm guessing that we'll get about 15 or 20. I'm going to have a contest, and the winner 
at Mortgage Coach. One, we're going to help give it a facelift. So we're going to put some marketing energy to make your video even better than it is when you want it. And then we're also going to help you market it on Facebook. We're going to spend up to $100 to help you promote it and boost it. And then, uh, Derek, I don't know. I don't want to put you on the spot. No, it's if fine. We yeah, had you know. one person, yeah. If we had one person at the end of the week that had created a video showcasing the total cost analysis with the goal of getting leads, one, would you help us pick the winner? And yeah. two, would you also kind of help them create a Facebook post around it so that they could promote it in a compelling way? Is that something you'd be willing to I'd, do? I'd absolutely be willing to do that, and I'd be honored to help out. Right on. So, so mortgage coach members, uh, uh, by the way, this video that Josh created, it took him a couple of minutes. I mean, he's already done thousands of total cost analysis. He knows how he describes it. He edited it. He didn't have to write a script. And he just took his iPhone, put it on a tripod, made sure that he had a good mic, make sure his background was intentional, and he knocked it out. Uh, and then, of course, we did give some guidance and help with the editing. Although uh, we've got a lot of mortgage coach members out there that are doing their own job of editing. And I do want to shine a light on the mortgage coach productivity mastermind. Uh, let me pull that up while we're talking. That particular group, we did um, a call with Kelly Zitlow last Friday, and she talked about everything she's doing to create videos on Facebook, to edit and package them, how she's promoting it. So, if you don't know how to create a Facebook YouTube video, uh, watch the call with Kelly Zitlow yesterday. Plus, if you are a member of our Productivity Mastermind group, which everybody is eligible, if you're not already part of this group, just ask to be invited, search for it, ask to be invited. But we did a whole comment around how are you editing, what software are you using for editing, how are you editing your videos, um, by the way, Derek, I am going to ask you that question right now. What advice do you give to your community when it comes to creating YouTube videos, not like the one-off video, but in getting them edited? Do you guys have any resources or any advice on that? So, I mean, that's a great question. Um, and there, I'll tell you this, guys. There is a fine line between being over-edited and, and being under-edited. And it is an extremely fine line. What, what we teach our clients is if you get right to the point and you say things in 30 seconds or less than a video with you being on the right side of the screen, exactly kind of how Dave is right now, works. If you get into anything that's over 30 seconds, then I, then I do believe that you need to have uh, professional editing. If you looked at Dave's video that when he showed um, Josh's in the beginning, if you noticed there was B-roll, which he started speaking, and then they showed something else in there, that's editing. And Josh's um, in video, or it was in, you see what Dave's doing right there. So, you know, he's talking, and then they're showing something that he's talking. That's an edited form, if you guys don't know what that means. So if you go over 30 seconds, then I would recommend editing. Um, you know, we have a professional editor on our staff, and you know, if you're going to do a lot in there, then I would recommend doing that. You can find professional video editors on Fiverr or Upwork.com uh, for very, very cheap. And um, so that's my speech on that. 30 seconds or under, if you get right, right to this, like if you took that script I just wrote, you can do that in 30 seconds. You do not need something uh, professionally edited. Over 30, I do recommend it. Good. That's good feedback. Uh, by the way, I am writing a post right now that I'm going to put on LinkedIn as an article by the end of the week, which is just the playbook on how to create a YouTube video. Uh, most of it, most of you guys know, you know, camera, tripod, intentionality. And then I'm going to share some of the resources and ways that the mortgage coach community is, is doing editing. If anybody knows an editor that has got some bandwidth and they can turn some of these videos quickly, share that, you know. I was gonna say, don't do it in this video, but in the LinkedIn post that I'm gonna put, share comments. I mean, that's what makes Mortgage Coach great, is we've got a community of amazing mortgage professionals that show up, add value, they share our word. So uh, let's see, let's go back to questions here. Um, Derek, people are, there's a couple people that are just saying like, I've never used Facebook or social 
to generate quality leads. Mm. I know you've already kind of spoken to that, but like if there's some people that are skeptical, um, how do you respond to that? That's a mindset question, Dave, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate whoever whoever asked that because you know what? <laughs> the other people are thinking that too. Um, you know, as I spoke about in the very beginning, when we post on Facebook, it feels like a public speech. So we always, everybody has a healthy fear around posting. And this is what I would say is if you change your mindset from, you know, Facebook being a place to post about only about your cats or only about, you know, whatever you and your college buddies were talking about and you start saying, hey, listen, that's where my network is. And that's where my realtors are. And that's where my financial planners are. And you do the stuff that we teach in here, you'll see that, they, that that's a value. If you notice the post that I wrote right now, we're, that's a valuable post. You're just saying, hey, check this out because I care about you. That's it. And, and, that's, and that's the same message that Dave Savage has. That's why, I, you know, that's why I'm here. It's why him and I became friends. You know, it's like we're, we have the same mission is I care about you. So in Dave's world, it's I care about you. I want to make sure you get a total cost analysis so that you know what's the best loan for your needs. In my world, it's I, I live in a marketing world, right? So then I say like this, how do we get that message out to as many people as possible? The, the thing with social media and the thing with video and this, it's just all about leverage. And what leverage means is the least amount of work with the most amount of people seeing it. That's it. It's about creating leverage now, guys. Okay, so when you start to shift from oh my gosh, what are my college buddies going to do? Are they going to make fun of me? They probably will. That's the truth. When I started getting out there in 2013, you know, it's like I did. You know, it's like I had some college buddies that would comment and be like, you know, say some things and, and I'd laugh it off. Um, but you know what? They need loans too. I, you know, when we talk to our clients and they'll say, well, gosh, I kind of don't like Facebook because that's where all my creepy high school friends are, right? That's true. And then I say it like this. Would you do a loan for your creepy high school friends? Yeah. Okay. That's it. So it's about leverage guys. And it's about, it's about serving. And so that's a mindset question more than anything. And if you can shift into, Hey, you know what? I want to serve the most amount of people possible. This is a way to create the leverage right here. Let me do it in a very cool and relevant way though. So I don't annoy people. There's nobody that'll get annoyed from that post that I just gave you guys. They'll go, thanks yeah. for getting my back on my mortgage. They won't. They'll go, thanks for getting my back, bro. Thanks for getting my back. So I, I want, I'm going to post that on the Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. And if you do post it and you get a result, share it in our mastermind group. Uh, Shira, you just heard Derek talk about a lot uh, as a coach. What are, some of, what, what are some of your takeaways from this for everybody on this call? Well, you know, I... I was coaching a couple of groups earlier before jumping on and the resounding theme in both of those hours was not necessarily the tactical, but really having fun discovering where they wanted to go and why. Mm. When we get there, and I want to give you an example because Nate put his hand up and he said, Hey Shira, I'm not really crazy about the mortgage business. Like I don't really get mm. excited about, but here's, but you know what? I love playing golf. And I love the idea of taking a long weekend every month and playing golf. And I said, that is your ticket, Nate. That's the ticket. Create a vision where your business looks like you're generating 25 to 30 million a year, you're providing for your family, you've got financial peace, and you're golfing every single month unapologetically. He lit up like a flipping Christmas tree. And was like so excited to dive into his system. I, I love a, that, by the way, Shira. By the way, that reminded me of, of a Darren Daly from yesterday. So Darren Hardy does his daily. And yesterday's was a one minute video. By the way, I'm going to put it as a link below. But it was a one minute video where he said, design your life mm -hmm. and then build your business around the life that you want. And it's great closing thought because that's the other thing. A lot of us on this call, we know what to do. We just don't do it. Uh, you know, hopefully, again, I could have a whole debate on the cold call thing with you, Derek. Um, I mean, I, mean I, 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 I do agree in today's world with social and with your ability to network, you shouldn't be calling someone just cold. Everybody should call. 
There, there should be there should be purpose. There should be vetted. Yeah. You should be presenting a strategy. And I absolutely agree that using Facebook Messenger, creating a video and texting it to people. Um, in today's world of modern media, there's so many more creative ways of connecting with people on a human-to-human -human basis, yep. knowing that, dude, I, I don't even listen to voicemails anymore. I mean, I know. my phone interprets them. Like, I don't listen to you a voicemail. You sent me a video to text um, this I got one from you. Yeah, video to text. So, I mean, that's yeah. awesome, dude, video, right? Yeah. Video to text is where it's at. So, yeah. so everybody, let us know what you thought of today's call on a scale of we allowed you, surpassed your expectations. You know, it was good. It was average. If you are a guest to this call and you want to learn more about Mortgage Coach, click the last option. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I love this call because, one, I think you reminded people about things that they know. I think you opened their mind to some opportunities that they, they didn't have. And then you, you just gave us a gift to get more loans. I love that. I'm going to have to start making all of my guests like, hey, man, <laughs> you, 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 you've got to do something that everybody on this call is going to get a lead at the end of the call. They're going to get three leads. That's so That's so uh, you, just, you raised the bar, brother. I appreciate that, man. That's my job, dude. That's, that's what I'm here for, baby. All right. So, so everyone, we, we did put a link to schedule a call with Derek if you were listening to the recording. I think they might be all booked up. I'm still going to put the link below. Derek, if someone wants to reach yeah, out to you, they can go okay, to the so link and they want to reach out to you. How do they get a hold of you? I'm, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to open up. It, I'm going to open up three more. So it did book all 12. So I'm going to open up three more. They're going to be next week, guys. So I'm going to do that right now. Dave, do you mind showing that link real quick again for them? Well, it, it, it's, it's in chat. But oh, it's in chat, okay. chat and, then, and, then, and then, but what if someone just wanted to reach out to you and schedule some time? What's your email? That's or what's it. your phone number? That, that's it right there. And then my email, if you want to talk at all, is Derek at DerekCheney.com. Um, so D-E-R-Y-C-K at D-E-R-Y-C-K-C-H-E-N-E-Y.com. Uh, but I will tell you the truth. I'm morphing my entire business to social, so send me a friend request. Um, at Derek Cheney as well, and we can talk there. But uh, just so you know, just to get an official one on our calendar, I'm going to open up three more spots right now. So if you got shut out, um, I'm doing that right now, guys. All right. Well, hey, we are two minutes over. Thank you for trusting us with an hour. If you want to learn how to use your mobile device as a sales tool to close more loans, tomorrow at 11 o'clock Pacific, sign up on our calendar. If you just have questions and you haven't created 20 total cost analysis yet, Thursday. And if you want to get more, um, more out of you and more out of the day, come to the Friday Mastermind. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Thank you, Derek. Day, Thank guys. you, Cheryl. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah.